afternoon, fellas. You ever have one of them days no matter how many times you double check, how many times you, you look twice, you really try to stay on the ball, no matter what you do, you still manage to zip your pecker up in your fly. I've been having those for about two weeks. The whole deal with those is when you have one is find a way not to let it multiply into multiple days. I don't know how I'm going to manage that, but I'm going to have to figure it out because it's driving me crazy. Start about two weeks ago, I got pulled over in DOT. He caught me with my hand in a cookie jar and probably sexually assaulted me, or at least my wallet. And uh, my own mistake, my own dumb mistake. Just saying you're gonna play, you're gonna pay. Yeah, well, I had to pay. And it was just one little thing after another. And it wasn't just at work, it was at home. Uh, I'd need to get something done at home. I'd figure out I had the wrong thing. Or I need to go pick this up, but I had the wrong paper. Or just just whatever. It's, it's, it's one thing after another. I pulled the real doozy today, and I, I this has got to be the end of it. I, I got to get back on the ball. I usually go to Tip City, Ohio, on Mondays from Alabama. When I go to the yard and pick up a load, they have a little white envelope that's got usually has your bills in it, and has your back hauling because everything we out haul is out back. I take the envelope like I normally do and I throw it up in my little top little cubby up here. Uh, that's what I always do with my bills. I got the tipsy though. I'm sitting there eating me some dinner and I reach up and grab those bills or that envelope and I pull it out and uh I look at my back haul, back haul, Kings for Charcoal. Same place I've been picking up for several weeks now on my back haul. Summertime, they use a lot of charcoal. Okay, cool, get the truck unloaded, do my 10 hour break. Head back to Kentucky where the DOT is so friendly. Uh, Get down to King's for Charcoal. Walk in the office. And you go in there and you, you tell them your number is you're writing down on a little sheet, check in sheet. I started, I said 8 1, blah, 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 blah. He said, no, that number is supposed to start with a 2 something. What the hell are you saying? I, I looked down at it and I said, no, the number right there is 8 1. He said, no, I ain't the right number. And I opened the sheet. And I see I'm supposed to be in Austin, Indiana at Morgan Foods. Uh, I went from zipping my pecker up my fly to just slap stepping on my dick. So I promptly tucked my tail between my legs and mosey on back out to the truck and call the office. Tell my, the boss man, I says, buddy, I done screwed up. <clears throat> and that's the best way to handle those things. Don't try to give excuses. Don't try to dance around us up. Just call them up, say, I screwed up. He said, what'd you do? I said, 
Well, I said, I'm sitting in Kings for Charcoal. I said, I'm supposed to be sitting in Morgan Foods. I said, I looked at my thing wrong and the way I went. Just looked up. For me, that they had another driver that was supposed to come down there and pick up the Kingsford. His truck broke down. And he's going to be overnight up in somewhere, Indiana, Ohio, something like that. And uh, they had a load sitting there. They told me to get it. And then they'd send him over to get that morning food when his truck got fixed. Just happened to work out, but it doesn't always. I mean, I've been doing this now for high going on 20 years. I don't care how much experience you got. You're going to screw up. It's, it's, you get really comfortable. You get other things on your mind. I'm having some health issues right now. I've got that on my mind. Kind of stressing me out. Uh, I don't know if you can hear that screaming noise. That one, let me rub it up. You can hear it even better. That's the mystery noise that I keep taking the truck to the shop. And they keep looking at me like I'm an alien. Ain't nothing wrong with that truck. Well, evidently, you take it to the shop. It's bobtail. It's not under load. And it doesn't make the noise when it's not under load. It's either in the transmission or the turbo. I ain't figured out which one. We'll find out when half the transmission's laying on the road. So I said, oh, yeah, I guess you were right. But anyway, what I'm talking about here is, you know, you, like I said, I've known drivers, 20 years experience that's backed into the hood of another truck. I, I, Matter of fact, just had one here a while back. That, yeah, you know, oh Lord, he had. He, I, I, he's been driving longer than that. He's he's an older feller. He he's been driving all his life, and drove right over a gate and gate post. Uh, it just, it, you know, pulled through the gate and just wasn't thinking straight. Turned too early and drug his tandems right over it. That stuff's going to happen inevitable you can't put 150 180,000 miles a year on the road and not make mistakes the key is don't let those mistakes cost anybody being hurt or don't let those mistakes damage equipment if you can or cause property damage Nine times a day, they're going to cost some money, but you, know, you make more money. You can't grow another arm. But what I'm struggling with, and what you got to figure out how to do, is how to stop them. Stop the chain of events. You make a mistake, put it behind you. Because you're dwelling on that mistake and stressing out about it and everything else and you'll mess around and you'll make another one and you'll make another one uh, you gotta try and find a way to get that stress out of this truck whether it's home stress bill stress health stress whatever kind of stress try to get it out of the truck and just when you're in this truck do your job Looks at you, looks at you, cause you scratched his trailer or something. Tells you that you need to learn what the hell you're doing, cause he don't make no mistakes. 
thumb is a damn liar. Everybody does. Now, I know I ain't made none of these videos in a while. Like I said, I've been going through some stuff, but and I clue you in on that when I find out a more definitive answer. Uh, gotta go do some tests done and such. I'm about to make a series of videos on quitting smoking. I'm gonna do like a day by day vlog of what I'm doing to quit, how successful I am, and how I feel, and all this kind of stuff. See, if maybe that can't help some folks. Got any kind of questions or anything about trucking, about life? I know a good bit about trucking, know a little bit about life. Uh, drop it down in the comments down there. I'll do my best to answer. Like and subscribe if you would. I could use the support. And y'all have a fine day.